My name is Salma Siddiqa. I'm from Bangladesh. I'm a pediatrician. I work in one of the hospitals in Riyadh. Like any third culture kid, I was born and raised in Saudi Arabia. I lived most of my life in the western region of Saudi Arabia, mostly in Mecca. And then uh, I finished my medical education in Jeddah. It, it has been a roller coaster ride for me uh, since I finished my graduation, my experience in work. I moved to Riyadh and I discovered this wonderful part of the country and it's absolutely amazing. I love traveling and exploring, especially in all parts of Saudi Arabia. I have traveled to the uh, western part, the eastern region, and also out, uh, outskirts of Riyadh as well. I have traveled to the beautiful mountains of Abha, Juzan, um, the mountains of Tabuk and the snowfall. I have traveled to the Hakal region as well, um, and to the eastern region where Al Ahsa, the oasis, the green, greenery, the beautiful greenery and also to Alula as well. It's majestic beauty and the landscape simply is mind-blowing. Life in Riyadh is very vibrant and active. Riyadh has its own heartbeat, you know, and you feel it reverberate, reverberate in, in, within you wherever you look. So wherever you look, you see people being active and enthusiastic, and the young generation is very, very um, enthusiastic in their actions. In Riyadh, there are lots to do. There's, it's very overwhelming in a good way, for sure. So what I love to do is uh, go to cafes or restaurants, I go shopping with my friends and catch up on the social life. Um, the Riyadh people are very generous and they're very hospitable in their actions. Uh, language definitely plays a huge uh, role in this, uh, in this country and in Riyadh. If you know the language, the Arabic language is very beautiful and it is uh, very elegant as well. So, so if you know the language and reach out to people, they're very welcoming to you. The Riyadh season has been super amazing. Um, the activities were going on all around Riyadh and everybody was excited for it. Um, I particularly enjoyed the Middle Beast concert. It, it was the la largest and the loudest Middle Beast in the country, in the world, and the Gulf region as well. Um, people from all around, around this country itself, the people around, outside the country, they all gathered together in one place and the vibrancy was, uh, it's, you can feel it, it was palpable. Um, other than that, I enjoy New Riyadh festivals, the explosion of art around the city and the beauty of it was simply mind-blowing. I totally loved it. In terms of going out uh, on the outskirts of Riyadh, you would have to experience the red sand dunes, the beauty of the desert land, especially during sunset. That is mesmerizing. Um, and if you want to camp overnight, it's beautiful as well. Sleep under the stars and enjoy the breeze. It's it's breathtaking view, amazing views. Um, other than that, you can explore uh, outside Riyadh. You can go hiking. You can definitely go uh, visit Ushagir village. It's stunning heritage and the culture of Saudi is truly visible from there.
love exploring and networking with my friends and colleagues from work, definitely. So we go out uh, to the city and choose the multitude of cafes and restaurants and places to, and things to do. And Riyadh, right now, Riyadh Boulevard World is the hub of entertainment. And we have had so much fun exploring the different countries within, within us, within the city. It's been fabulous. Um, other than that, we definitely, it's the food culture that is the major part of uh, Riyadh culture. Everybody loves food. I'm a foodie myself and I love going out to eat. That's the major highlight of my, of my day most of the time. So um, with family, with friends, we go out to the cafes and do, try different cuisines. Most of, like most importantly, uh, international cuisines have been coming in uh, and rushing in inside Riyadh as it has become the center and hub of trade and tourism as well in the Gulf region, that's what I believe. The culture of my country and the country of uh, Saudi Arabia are similar in terms of generosity, in, in terms of hospitality, and the both nations are extremely hardworking. And they are futuristic and looking forward to make their country the best in the world. And I love that energy and enthusiasm. Especially both the countries have a majority of youth under 30 and they, they are willing to push their limits and go beyond and above to make their country proud. As far as I remember, I've always wanted to be a physician, strive hard and serve people. Medicine has given me that outlet. Um, in my third clinical clerkship, uh, I found this bond between the pediatrician, the patient and the parent itself. And my mentors have taught me to be advocate for my patients and be in the best interest for them with their parents as well. we deal with patients of all ages in different uh, age groups and each of them have their own uh, limitations and own uh, set of needs that needs to be met. So I, in my hospital I work in different um, departments itself um, like in ICU, emergency places, um, in patient as well and uh, day to day I uh, seeing a lot of sicknesses, seeing illnesses, life and death has made me a strong person. No, I'd repeat it. The most beautiful uh, part of being a physician, being a pediatrician, is the satisfaction I see in my patients' faces. Okay, seeing a child smile after they leave my clinic, a uh, mother's sigh of relief, a uh, father's eyes filled with gratitude it is what fuels me. It drives me to work hard and provide the best health care that I can do for my patients. Medicine for me is a passion and a profession as well. I'm driven by the fact that I'm able to treat my patients, give the best health care that they can receive from me. And most importantly, um, my family and friends are always pushing me. I'm very much thankful for their presence and for their support and help. My day starts at 6 a.m. with a whole jug of coffee because I can't live without it as a physician. Okay, um, after that, I usually go for a nature walk or go hit the gym. Afterwards, I would head 
to my hospital and depending on my schedule I would go to the emergency uh, emergency department or my inpatient wards or clinic and where I would see my patients uh, examine my patients uh, send them labs uh, in the imaging and um, give prescribed medications for them uh, this uh, this also includes counseling the parents as well uh, as they're very anxious and it's difficult to deal with the anxiety and the fear that the parents have for their little precious babies. So from there, um, depends on the age of the patient as well, you know, if this patient is a new neonate, if patient is like a pediatric adult, uh, adolescent age. So we follow the protocols based on what is the case. After that, I head home, uh, have lunch, spend some time with my family, and then all of us just head out to the city as Riyadh is never boring. Uh, there's so much to do. I go to uh, either to cafes or restaurants uh, with my friends, um, catch up on the social life that we're having, um, chit chat, and have a really good time, especially during winter. There's so much to do. Um, so. We try different things, okay, every other day. So recently I've taken up piano lessons and I've been trying to push my husband to take up interest. So that's been experimental so far. So we are in front of the store. It's a beautiful store full of amazing brands. After that, we head out for shopping. Uh, that's one of the uh, trend of Riyadh to go out to shopping malls because there are amazing shopping malls here with uh, different brands and absolutely fabulous brands. Hello, guys. So today we're out and about in Riyadh and here we're in at Riyadh Park and as you know they have amazing brands so let's check out some of the brands and I think I'm gonna check out Menbar right now and show you guys what's there. After shopping, usually if I go shopping, uh, come back home, and if it's an exhausting day, we just I fall asleep. But most of the days, I have to stay up and study uh, for my exams and uh, different board exams. That's the doctor's life. We, we are always having exams. <laughs> So one of my other passion is writing. I love writing and traveling. So this goes together and I opened uh, recently a travel blog, which uh, I have uh, documented all my travels around Saudi Arabia itself to encourage people to travel more and more and see the beauty of Saudi Arabia itself. Um, and also I'm involved in, uh, in a magazine as a health columnist to so write about health articles on uh, mental health, on general public uh, awareness, creating uh, health campaigns. So it's been very enriching for me to go through the whole process and I take my time out, I go to a corner just with a cup of coffee and just you know, have my own me time of writing and that really drives me and gives me energy to go uh, forward, yeah. had so many memorable experiences in Saudi Arabia, uh, one of which would be Alula Wellness Festival that I went to recently. Um, it's, it's beautiful and majestic. Um, beauty of the landscape itself is wonderful. 
um, we had a great time of yoga, of uh, mindfulness, which was absolutely brilliant. Um, it really helped to rejuvenate and helped to uh, help, uh, like energize me totally when I came back. I was so, so refreshed and it was unique because I've never seen this in Saudi Arabia before. Um, other me memorable experience would be uh, the day I graduated and I fulfilled my dream of becoming a doctor and, and finished my post-graduation uh, to become a pediatric specialist. One thing that I would truly miss is hospitality and the generosity of the Saudi people. In their heart, they're very, very welcoming. Absolutely, I've never seen this in any part of the world and I would truly miss that. Hi, I'm Omar Muhammad Akbar and I'm an enotologist based in Riyadh. I'm from Bangladesh and uh, we live in Riyadh for the past uh, three years now. We have been married for the past four years. It has been an amazing journey. Uh, as I am a doctor and my wife is also a physician, so we get to understand each other and we know what each, of, each one of us does. Uh, as uh, you might uh, notice that uh, doctors uh, have a very busy lifestyle and uh, also because they work odd hours so we understand understanding each other, each other yeah. is a very big part of being married and i am blessed to have a beautiful wife uh, a person who understands medicine a person who understands the field that we work in we help each other out during uh, studies we help each other out in our Go profession back. and uh, it's just a very beautiful experience yeah. it's a very nice experience to have when your significant other understands your job and you can collaborate uh, on and off work. In addition to both of us being physicians, uh, both of us also love traveling and exploring. And uh, that has been an amazing opportunity coming to Riyadh. There's just so many things to do over here. Uh, from within the city, going out and about, to going outside Riyadh, to the outskirts of Riyadh, exploring the sand dunes, exploring the natural beauty of this country. So when we have a short break, maybe we do a short road trip uh, to the outskirts of Riyadh, go out into the sand. He's more spontaneous. And, yeah, definitely. I, mean, I, I loved it making spontaneous and plans. Make random plans, and we would just go for it, you know. Absolutely. That so that's what we would do. Maybe go make yeah. a bonfire with friends or maybe go out on a longer trip if we have a break. Take a road trip. A recent road trip that we did was to Tabuk and we saw yeah. the snowfall. It wow. was an amazing part of the country and uh, it is, it's uh, just amazing to explore the natural beauty of Saudi Arabia and it's just yeah. uh, more fun if you have family and friends around. So both of us love exploring and we, we do that every time we have an opportunity to do so. সবাইকে আমার শুভেচ্ছা ও অভিনন্দন ভালো থাকেন সুস্থ থাকেন এবং আমি চাই যে আপনারা আসেন সৌদি আরবে এর বিউটি আর সৌন্দর্য দেখার জন্য